will leave it to me to do a controversial video, but I have to do this. This is something I feel like God's leading me to do, and it's not going to be popular, and people might say and think some things about me, but that's none of my business. I have to do what I have to do. And this video is going to be prayer concerning abortion. And I know that this country, many people demonstrated and fought for the right for women to have the choice to have abortions. And they won. I, I get that. And I know I'm swimming upstream here. But, you know, in light of the things that are coming out concerning Planned Parenthood and how they are making a business out of selling baby parts and... Um, I read an article recently, actually, and it was concerning an ex-Satanist who was exposing abortion clinics and some of the things that go on in abortion clinics, some high-profile ones, too, and says that many of the people, just like people who want to practice, um, you know, ministering or ministering to God will become preachers, people who want to minister to Satan become abortion doctors because... This is a ritual that they do. You know, they declare these children, these souls for um, Satan. They dedicate them to Satan. And they invite Satanists to come in and do satanic rituals. And they sometimes cannibalize the babies. And um, the one thing that the, that the ex-Satanists did say is that some of the things that they did were thwarted sometimes because of the prayer of Christians. And he had to attest to that. So this Christian is going to pray. Now, whether you were someone who made a mistake, either in fornication or adultery, or you were a married person and decided you couldn't afford a baby or something, if you made a mistake and you created another mistake by trying to erase that mistake, which is the mistake of abortion, and you are feeling guilt, shame, despair, you want to know what happened to your baby, what will happen to your baby, whether or not God can forgive you, this is for you, okay? Whether you are someone who was used as a breeder in a cult or a coven, which is someone who was made to have babies, sometimes by rape, to be sacrificed to Satan, and you want to repent of that, and you want forgiveness for that, this is for you. If you are um, an abortion doctor or a, a former abortion doctor, you worked in an abortion clinic, and you want to repent, and you want forgiveness, this is for you. If you have ever had any type of involvement in a satanic ritual and you know involving the death of a baby, this is for you because what you know we might see is horrendous and awful God still sent his son to die for you because he loves you so much and all lives matter but God says in Proverbs 6 he says that there are seven things that he hates that are an abomination to him and one is hands that shed innocent blood. And another scripture I want to read to you is Ezekiel 16, 20 through 21. Moreover, you took your sons and daughters whom you had born to me and sacrificed them to idols to be devoured. Were your harlotry so small a matter? You slaughtered my children and offered them up to idols by by causing them to pass through the fire. Now I'm pretty sure that God's opinion of abortion is no different now than it was then. And yet here we are. And I want to pray. The first thing that I want to pray is I want to pray, Lord, in Jesus' name, I pray that Planned Parenthood and abortion clinics because of this injustice and because of what they have done are completely defunded right now in the name of Jesus. 
funds stop right now so this can't persist and continue. I declare and decree that those funds will stop in the name of Jesus and they'll not be able to operate anymore. And also for every baby aborted in this nation, I call those souls that were dedicated to Satan, their gods, their gods, they belong to him. He says they are his children and babies are innocent. The Bible says the wages of sin are death. However, if they've, if they're sinless and they've never sinned, they're innocent and they don't belong to Satan. They don't belong to Satan. So right now in Jesus name, I declare and decree that every unborn child, every aborted baby, their souls belong to God the Father, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, my God, not the God of this world. They are his, they're his children. And I declare and decree that those souls belong to him, the kingdom of God in Jesus name. And I thank you Lord for that. So. If you find yourself with guilt, with shame, wondering what happened to your baby, wondering what will happen to your baby, agree with me in prayer that these children, those souls are in the kingdom and that you'll see them someday if you receive Christ as your savior. So the blood of Jesus is able to wash all of this away. I don't care what you did. I don't care how guilty you feel. I don't care how you see it. God's love permeates sin and it is more than enough to conquer that, the works of the enemy. The Bible says that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. Okay? You might have tried to, you might have made a mistake by trying to correct a mistake. You might not have known what happens in abortion clinics, and I don't know that it happens in all abortion clinics, but someone has exposed some of the things that happen in them. And regardless, I know that there are people who have struggled with their decision and who have felt shame and guilt. And I want you to know that there's forgiveness from God in that. Just repent, tell the Lord you're sorry, ask him to forgive you and receive his forgiveness right now. If you were a breeder for a coven or a cult or some sort of satanic group and you know you willingly had a child that was sacrificed to Satan and you're sorry, you're repentant about that and you want God's forgiveness, receive it. It's free. It's free. It's free. Receive it. He died to set you free. If you have committed abortions, if you are a doctor or someone who's worked in a facility and you have blood on your hands and you want the forgiveness of God, it's there for you too. I don't care if you were eating babies in a back room somewhere at midnight in an abortion clinic and you know it's wrong and you're sorry, God's love is there for you too. He will receive you if you just repent and ask for forgiveness. It's there for you. It's there for you. I want to encourage you. God loves you. No matter what you've done, because we've all fall sh fallen short of the glory of God. But his love is so great. And he is so merciful and so gracious that no matter what sin we've committed, he receives you if you just accept him. So I want to pray for all of this. I want to pray that abortion clinics, Planned Parenthood is completely defended in Jesus name right now. They can no longer do business in the name of Jesus. Every child born in this nation or unborn child that was aborted, those souls I call for the kingdom of God. They do not belong to Satan. He can't have them. God says they're his children. So they're in his kingdom. I call them his in Jesus name. And Father, right now, 
to the people who are hurting that are listening to this, who want your forgiveness, who want to repent, who want to be free from guilt, who want to be set free from this nagging thing that keeps condemning them day in and day out. Lord, I pray for every individual that wants that. Father, I just ask that you give them a revelation of your love for them and what you did for them by sending your son, your son you sacrificed for them. You know, where they, their babies might have been sacrificed to the enemy, you sacrificed your son for them. Give them a revelation of what kind of love that is. And you're not repentant. You're sorry that you sacrificed your son. And I just ask that you give them a revelation, that you envelop them with a peace and a comfort, and that you just relieve them of the burden of guilt and shame. Wash them clean and white as snow, Lord. And I thank you, Lord, for it. I thank you, Lord, for a peace that they'll have and for the emotional hurts to be healed, their hearts to be completely healed by your love and your grace and your mercy. Lord, I just ask that you touch them in a profound way so that they will know your love and will turn to you and they can be free and they can be um, forgiven and move forward each day like it were brand new. Your word says that old things are passed away and all things have become new. I pray for their spirits that have been broken and I ask for healing in their spirit, their soul, their mind, their will, their emotions, all of those thoughts. They'll cease. They'll only know your voice, not the voice of condemnation, not the voice of lies, not the voice of guilt but your love and your voice, Lord, guiding and directing them from this point forward. And Lord, heal their bodies, heal their bodies, heal them up, and give them a knowing that you're their father and they belong to you. And I thank you, Lord, for it. I thank you for healing this land. I thank you, Lord, for those souls that are in your kingdom because you're good and you're merciful and you are fair and loving. I thank you, Lord, for it. In Jesus' mighty and precious name, thank you, Lord. Amen. Okay, so if this was something that made you feel better, that comforted you, that gave you hope, that you liked, I'm asking you to share this because there are a lot of people who have the secret of this pain that they are holding and they don't know that they can be set free or forgiven. So please share this video if it helped you. And I just thank you for watching. I love you guys. Bye-bye.